What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could brand your products that you're going to sell on Amazon. Branding is very important, especially now because Amazon requires your brand permanently affixed to the product or the product packaging. So you can't even list a new product on Amazon without having your brand or logo on that product and it has to be on there permanent. It can't be a sticker, it can't be written on. You could try Photoshop, but who knows if you'll get caught. So we're going to cover why it's important to brand your products, the benefits, how to actually get your brand name and logo printed on the packaging different options and i'm going to cover all of this in this video but before we get into it we have a winner to announce every month i announce a winner they win my course or a hundred dollar prize and for this month the winner is skylar so go ahead and dm me skylar on instagram or facebook or email me all of my information is down below in the description and if you want to win like skylar did i do a giveaway every month like i said all you have to do is drop a comment down below like my videos and subscribe to my channel and i have my girlfriend randomly go through all of the comments in the videos and she picks a random winner so it's not biased i don't do it she does it so don't be mad at me be mad at her but with all that being said let's get into the video right now so a lot of new amazon sellers will ask me how do you brand your product what does that even mean and if you think about big companies like apple or nike those are examples of great brands they have great products you could look at apple's logo and realize okay that's an apple product so brand building gives you recognition and your customers will remember your products because they like your brand now i'm I'm gonna pull up an Apple product right here. I actually keep all of my Apple products packaging. I don't know if you could see it, but their packaging is so nice. It's like sturdy. They have all of the different documents inside. Um, it's not gonna break when they ship it. They build it really strong so you don't get any broken products. And if you look, their boxes are very simple. There's not much color on them. It just shows their logo and then it shows the product that's inside. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not like a really colorful package. You can do colorful packaging, but I'm gonna get into more of that later. So let me show you some examples of products that I recently got from Amazon that have good packaging, and then I'm gonna show you others that have worse packaging. Okay, so for the first product, their packaging is really nice. It's black and gold. Um, it has their logo, their brand name. It, their brand name is printed on the side of the box. The box is shiny and a lot of work went into this packaging because it's not just arriving in a white box with their brand name on it. And the box is actually pretty sturdy. You can't tell in this picture. And then when you open up the box, let me show it to you if you could actually see it. It comes with all the different products right here and all of their manuals are right here. It even comes with like a little canvas bag for the products. Um, so it has a lot of different things inside of the box. Now the cheap route would be just shipping all of this stuff in a plastic bag with your logo on it or just the barcode on it. I've seen that as well. And customers are not going to remember that product if they get it in the mail. They're going to think that it's a cheap product. There's no branding on it. They don't know who made it. And that can lead to a lot of bad reviews from people saying it's just a cheap Chinese product. But remember, even Apple gets made in China. So on their box, it actually says designed in the US, but it's made in China. So if your customer ever says, hey, is this a Chinese product? And you don't want to say it's made in China, you could say it's made in China, but designed in the US. You have some customers that will be against products being made in other countries, but that is how Apple does it. So now that we've seen Apple and we've seen this other product, let me show you this one other product right here. So this is like an earwax cleaner. They pretty much replicate what Apple does. They put the product on the front of the pack packaging and then if you look on the side it has the apple logo on apple and on this one their logo is on the bottom of the box so they pretty much replicated what apple does the box is a nice little white box um, it has the picture of what's inside so that's pretty cool and then when you open it up let me open it up here it's not just random products rolling around in the box they have their own little sleeves and their spots that they go in so they don't roll around when they ship and it's a pretty simple product it comes with a user manual um, right here, it's a little warped because it got water on it, but it has their logo. It has all the directions on how to use the product. And this was actually the number one seller for earwax removal tools. I know it's kind of a weird product, uh, but you could see why they have a good brand. People will remember this brand because it has a logo. It shows what's inside the box. It didn't just arrive in like a plastic bag, um, which other products do sometimes. So this is another example of a great package design for your products. But like I said, not all products arrive in nice packaging like those. Sometimes they arrive in a bag which isn't bad it just depends on the product i actually sell one product that arrives in a poly bag but you could see my design right when the customer gets it and then my brand is on the back of the bag so it really comes down to the product and what it is how well it has to be protected and how much work and time you want to put into your packaging to build a brand if you're in it for the long term, branding gets you a lot further 
because if you have a good brand, you could actually ask for more money on your products and have a larger margin than a brand that nobody has heard of. So I'll put an example right here. Most people know what that brand name is. It's Starbucks. So they charge like $5 for a cup of coffee. But if you're just selling a coffee cup at a gas station like this one, they are going to pay about a dollar. All right. So let me show you another type of product that I got that arrived in just a plastic bag. So here it is. It's just like basic cables, like a internet cable. Um, and it came in this little plastic bag. But like I said, it depends on the product. So a product like a cable, you're probably not going to reorder from them. But if you want to put your brand name and do all the custom packaging on a product like this, you can. But this one just came in a bag and I was fine with it. I didn't really care. I'm not going to leave a bad review. It's a cable. It's not going to get damaged. And I don't really care about the packaging. But most likely I'll forget about this brand and I'll never see them or hear about them again. I got the product. I'm happy. And I'm not going to leave a bad review just because it came in that plastic bag because it is just a cable. So now you're probably wondering, how do I get my brand name and logo printed on the packages? So most of the time on all of my products, my suppliers actually offer printing on the boxes or the bags, or they do engraving on the actual product. So almost every supplier out there does this, but if they don't, you want to find a third party packaging company. Um, it's going to cost you more money. So you have to make sure that it's worth it. Or you could try to find another supplier that does offer printing on the packaging or the product. And then most of the time, if you really want to get customized, they give you a die cut template. I'll put a little example right here. And then you could take that and go to Fiverr or Upwork and find a graphic designer that specializes in package design. And then they're going to go ahead and design that template. And then you're going to give that template back to your supplier. They put it in their printing machine. And then that design is going to get printed on the box or the package that your product comes in. So really it just comes down to personal preference. If you want to build a good brand and have people remember your logo and your brand name, you could put more work and time into your packaging. Use that die cut template, get it sent out to a designer they could design it for you always want to get a sample so the customers aren't getting some random package with an upside down design so really that's basically it think about the brands that you like look at what they do with their product packaging and why you keep buying from them and then you want to replicate that in your own business build a good customer base so when they see your brand or your logo somewhere they will say oh i know that brand and i want to buy that new product that they are launching on amazon all right that is it for this video if you need help with your own amazon fba business check out all the links down below and if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment down below to win the course for next month. And that is pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.